Going to take a quick look at Given the Dog a Bone from ACDC's Back in Black album. A uh, great uh, hard driving song. We'll look at what Malcolm's playing, um, the rhythm parts, and a little bit different during the Angus' guitar solo, but uh, cool song. So let's, uh, let's see how it looks. <laughs> Okay, so the main riff, uh, it's in the key of A. Now the way this is played, uh, it's a little bit, uh, a little tricky, but um, you're gonna start with this chord here, which is really C. So your middle finger on the third fret of the A string, and then your first finger on the second fret of the D string, so. So this is the pattern for it, it's gonna be. So you're going to come up here and grab this G note um, on the E string. Like that. And that just uh, plays over and over again, but that's the main riff. So it takes a little bit of practice to get it right. Um, but just play along with the song and you'll get the rhythm pattern right. Now what's important also is that these two strings, the A string, you're not just going to want to concentrate when you're going from uh, your third fret uh, here on the A string to your fifth fret on the A string. You're going to want to kind of try to hit both of the A and the D string at the same time as you're playing that riff, not just playing the A string. So you don't want it to sound like this. You want it to sound more like this. So it's, uh, it's a little bit different. So we'll move on to the, uh, the chorus here and see what the chorus looks like. So going into the chorus from our main riff. So we have our main riff. Now once we get to that G note, now we're gonna go over here to the C, or to the C note, the third fret of the A string, the second note of the A string, open A string D chord. And then we're gonna go back to our original shape, and we're gonna play this pattern. So. So that's uh, third fret A string, open A string twice, fifth fret A string once, open A string once, back to your third fret again, and then open again. So. Okay, now we're going to go over here to the G note, to E to A. So it's going to look like this. Okay, and then you're going to go back to the main riff again. So 
That's just... Take a look at what Malcolm is doing uh, during Angus Young's guitar solo. Okay, so coming out of the chorus, going into the guitar solo. So we have our uh, riff that we just learned from the chorus. Once the guitar solo starts, now we're going to go from this C note here to A to D, back to the C note to A again. So this is the pattern. transition up here to the G, the E, and the A. And then the end of the solo is G to A a couple or three times, I believe. Back into the main riff again. All right, so that's uh, that's it for the guitar solo. We'll take a quick look at the end of the song. So headed into the uh, last part of the song, so we're in our chorus. And then they're gonna change to the key of uh, A. And then we're gonna go from these power chords, C to D. And that's pretty much it. So the ending is uh, everything you already learned except just the power chords from C to D, uh, back to C, and then G, D, and A to end it. All right? So anyway, that's it. Giving the dog a bone. We'll see you next time.